lucky they got his blue buff yes. invaded constantly, that he was getting camped underneath his tower because you know Johnny can't assist. You know he can't come and help, that he's not going to be strong enough. So now, this is actually a pretty interesting idea. Will the Leviathan switch up their playstyle, move away from pressuring Duo and pressure Solo side instead? Well, we'll get a chance to see it with the big action reveal as game number one is going to be taking off here. And we've got Dulcet and Gore for you guys on the cast. Plenty of intrigue still left here in Group A. Every single team still in play, including the Valhalla Valkyries. And Gore, they're still a world. Somehow it was the, the Zero Neath. Emilito Kronos combo that right. they presented that really caused trouble for people, but I think this is something that could bear a very similar response. Same thing Ducky has to run away. Oh. Johnny? I don't know if he can get anything done here. Well, here's the World Weaver from the mid lane. Julio has That's already leapt away. It's decent damage into Julio, who uses so the close. bees, and the last bit of damage is there from Johnny, and the Valhalla Valkyrie swing first. As we call for it, Gormizer, Zeros the helps. They don't have to play at picture perfect because now there's a free stun on the map. Johnny and Panatom going toe to toe here. Johnny getting the worst for wear in this fight, but the executes over on the other end. He dodges Panatom. out the leap, and now Emilito in range for the last bit of damage in the Valhalla Valkyries. Off to a great start. Shinto sends through space and time Ooh. right on through. Johnny trying to dodge out the damage, but no chance as the Giannis runs him down. Now Rong Yu knocked up on the backside as the duo lane for the Valhalla Valkyries looking for a little bit more. Scale, get into the late game. We're going to be feeling happy, but just kind of got sat on by a Daji and a Chiron. This is maybe a scenario where, granted, Yarkor and Emilito can both maybe feel a little bit more comfortable in their scaling, but maybe oh. not for a lot Hello. longer through space. Oh! oh! Shinto hits it! No chance for Emilito Gore. You can see that one coming from the Gore Fury pit. It just slowly flies its way in look. and catches on that Emilito. Could go well, on it's the base from oh, roundabout. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you yeah. said the banjo. I was like, there's no, no way that's a banjo. There's right no there. way that's a banjo. <laughs> you wouldn't think. There's a small skirmish, though, <laughs> potentially brewing in the mid lane. Wrong. You stun down, and the burst damage is here from the Valhalla Valkyries as Johnny finds the execute in the winds of Shamash. The battle continues, though, and Panatom will look to disengage. Another early pick here for the Valhalla Valkyries, and the Leviathans won't find the trade this time. And showcasing that hold when Johnny yeah, was Yeah, I don't execute. remember the matchup, but that was a highlight, right? And that's one of those moments that, that's not going to happen every time. This should oh, be good geez. for Johnny. Oh, man, Raffer's not looking Jeez, healthy in this scenario, but will Raffer survive? Wow. It's a transformation from wrong you, but Zeros eats all the CC through space and time. Won't confirm a kill on either. There's so it's One ultimate use there just from Shinto. Transformation as well from Rongyu, so call it two once he detransforms. Zero's sticking around, though, and the portals are still there. Zero's in the mid lane with no beads and likely no chance to live, and now it's a killing spree for the Leviathan's mid laner. Yeah, they we're just waiting for their perfect opportunity. Still going to take some damage, Rongyu, from the Tier 1 tower, but at this point, like, this is where that awkward moment, like, 10 minutes, Tier 1 towers are still a little from too the mid lane deadly. just did. Are you surprised at the lack of of World Weavers we've seen flying so far here in this game. I'll let you think about it as there's a 1v1 happening. Uh, well, it's a 3v1 and Emilito's going to go down, but Yarkor, we'll call it a 1v1. He did 99.9% .9 of the damage there <laughs> and a couple assists sent over to the Leviathans and the Chrono's starting to feel good. Yeah, I think this is a moment. But he still might need some attack speed items in there to really right. help facilitate what is Alquang's damage in his kit. But there's also the stress uh -oh. that it, well, never mind, we get to see one now. World Weaver from the mid lane. Is there enough damage here, though? The execute threshold has been met, and Johnny will find his third kill of the game. But Ducky looking tasty here for the Leviathans, and Panatom walks in, grabs a return kill. I mean, one for one, solo for solo, but it's two deaths sitting there for Julio as opposed to one death for Ducky. Ultimately, feels a little better there, but it might, especially if Johnny's able to jump into the back and just absolutely decimate people. That's something I'm going to go ahead and precursor this. We're going to get caught by surprise when that happens. Emilito avoids the stun here, returns some good damage onto Yarkor, who nearly finds big detonate damage onto the Ooh. ground there. World Weaver's caught out onto Panatom. It's a blink forward from Raffer as Johnny lurks over to the right-hand side. The Winds of Shamash gets used, and Panatom down as Johnny is on a killing spree. The collapse from the Valkyries is swift, and they'll get another kill onto this Gilgamesh. Panatom ate that for Yarkor as well, so made sure that Ooh, he could no. get out, but is he going to actually escape? Yarkor has his ultimate here, so some safety for the Kronos should they need it, but the Valkyries are swift, and they want to tower dive this Tier 1. It's a backflip from Zeros to get out of range, and the, t the tower dive happening no further as the Leviathans work forward. They pop the Frenzy, but look at the damage Johnny son. Oh, not enough as Yarkor turns it around. And down goes the Al Kwong to make him 4-2. and two. I mean, that shield from Geb gives you a little more confidence oh. than you need. Raffer goes down. Look, Julio's ready to go back in. The solo laners are here as well. Wrong you low, but receives a little bit of healing here. Emilito 
finds the damage on the back end, and now it's just Julio left for the Leviathans as the rest of the team has gone back to base. This is a messy fight. Ends up even. Valkyrie's still down one kill. Well, look, they're making a rotation back into this. If you stick around as the Valkyries, you're in danger. A couple she does a portal through. A couple squishies here, plus Ducky for the Valhalla oh, Valkyries. The backflip and the disapparate is enough to get it done. I will say, back in, especially with an Oni Fury coming back, Shinto's found positioning on the back line here, and it's Emilito and Zeros right next to this Giannis. Oh, the damage doesn't connect, but Panatom down low through space and time flies in, only catches on a ducky. Panatom immediately disengages as Zeros will turn around the damage onto the jungler. It's a great stun from Raffer, and Zeros finds the execute. I thought the collapse from the Leviathans was going to look a lot better from so that, too. but it just <laughs> did not connect. The damage was not there. Ooh, Shinto. But now it's only half health, and there's still four members of the Shinto Leviathans. Shinto ate here. the World Weaver. Johnny goes back in, a chance at a 2v1, but Shinto will survive. Oh, and now it's a 4v2 for the Valhalla Valkyries over here. In goes Julio, down into the dirt he goes on the end of it, and wrong you. The last member of the Leviathans close by here, caught between a rock and a hard place, and the only fury getting melted down and secured by the Valhalla. To follow up on 0, 1, and 4 so far here for Rapper on this Geb. World Weaver though finds Yarkor, immediately beads down. Johnny will do the oh same to God. avoid the stun and the ultimate in time now for Yarkor as Johnny attempting to heal up just a little bit, dodges everything, but Yarkor on the chase. Can Johnny turn around the damage? Finds the stun with the ultimate, and Yarkor weaving some autos in there through space and time. Now good over the wall! Yarkor's got the damage, and now Zero's here to help as well. No way! Yarkor walks out of this, right? Raffer attempting, but no good. Yarkor survives. I mean, he seems more than happy to, to at least walk away with his life, although precariously doing so. Himalito might go down here. This is a good separated fight from the Leviathans, but now the grouping from the Valkyries is turning it around. Look at the damage. Emilito has done a lot of it. Ducky has as well. Now Raffer into the back line as the Leviathans have to portal away, and it's a killing spree for the soul, and wrong you underneath. His own tier one tower looking for the leap out, but Panatom has joined the fight. He's found Zeros in the back line who uses the Aegis and trying to do enough damage to keep himself in the fight a little bit longer. It's big CC in the middle, but Emilito with a double kill looking for three on the back end, and instead it's Raffer in the Valhalla Valkyries find a three for two. I mean, Shinto just has to yeah, portal out of here. You don't want to be in this fight. Same thing. Your Aegis, your beads, and your ult are down. If you're Yarkor, you don't want to be anywhere near this squad. Emilito. Yes, they're low. The one with Panatom, he's got a two level lead over this jungle counterpart on the Leviathans. Julio's had to go back to the base and that means now we get a look at the objective shred that the Valhalla Valkyries are bringing to the table. Yarkor swinging away at Raffer and now the Fire Giant has been reset as the Valhalla Valkyries surge forward. World Weaver on to Panatom and Emilito on a rampage but Shinto returns the favor. Ducky survives but he's got to be careful over there in the FG pit. Will Shinto survive yet again? No he will not as Johnny grabs that kill but Julio returns it makes it a two for two. I mean, keeping the, well, so, pseudo carries there, depending on how you want to look at it. And Lido, 6, 3, and 5, Keep absolutely. Marks. And that's where Johnny comes in, that's where uh -oh. Emil come in. Speaking of Johnny, let's see what he can do. Chance to make a play here as Raffer blinks in. Cataclysm, good. CC connects and Yarkor down. Primal Fury has been reset. And the Valhalla Valkyries make a swift call, but not fully reset. It's down beneath half HP, and it looks like the Valkyries will get this objective as well. This shot calling from the Valkyries has been fantastic. This combination there, between the amount of damage he can do in the blink of an eye onto someone like Julio, even with all of that health. I mean, look at all the individual ticks yep. in that health bar for Julio. Johnny just ignores, it feels like, half of them. Now they're starting up the Fire Giant to force this fight. They're doing it quickly. Look at how fast Emilito and oh Zeros God. are burning down the objective. Valhalla Valkyries will take the FG, but Emilito loses half of his HP in the meantime. As Shinto alone in the back line now as Panatom confirms the re-engage. ML doing his best to stay alive, and he'll do you one better. He'll find the kill, and Shinto weaves through the unstable Vortex to make it a one-for-one -one trade. Ultimately, you still have Neath to help burn down towers. Yeah, Al Kuang's going to be able to do so, so if they can just escape this fight, it'll be good. But Julio and the rest of the Leviathan seem to have a different idea. A good knockup from Raffer. Slowed down to just one pick per team. Now the Fire Giant comes out, Gore, and this one's enhanced. Very important for either team to secure. I mean, being able to scoop this up if you're the Valkyries is the difference of knocking down those two Ooh. Phoenixes with ease. But this is going to be Whoa. an important fight. Well, Johnny finds Shinto, who has to use the portal, and the Giannis will survive. But now it's a re-engaged blink in from Panatom, who's got the damage. Oh, but Panatom the with the World Weaver, Johnny will not survive. And it looks like Panatom is going to take the portal to get out alive. What a play from Shinto to help his jungler in the fight. And now they're going to be able to loop around. Look, Ducky and Raffer, they can create a lot of space. They can even kill off Panatom here. But I don't know if it's going to slow it down a lot. Look at the zone coming down from the last of the Oh, Lions. Ducky does end up finding the kill on the Panatom. That helps the Valkyries in this fight. Both junglers are out of it. Emilito and Zeros. You got to look at those health bars. They are healthy. 
but the push forward coming in from the Leviathan. Shinto is half HP. Might be able to sustain back up. Emilito can as well as the damage finds its way into the back line. Unstable Vortex clips onto Emilito. Forces the soul back beneath the tier 2 tower. But look at Julio, the health bar going by the wayside as Ducky's found. The re-engagement here. Yarkor doing battle over on the right-hand side with Zeros. Use his ultimate. We'll get into it. Oh, no. That'll put him right oh, no. back into place as Raffer finds the knockup. I mean, now he just has raw damage, but he's got his front lines around him. That's the best news for a Kronos. Still has his Aegis available and they're able to fight, but this is getting a little shakier. Now Shinto's got his ult again. Well, Shinto comes back into it, but eats a mouthful of damage on the back end of it, and somehow the Giannis in the fight once again. Emilito finally cleans up a kill onto Julio Yarkor with the Aegis, but no ultimate will not survive much longer. What in the world is going on here? The Valkyries stay in the fight, and they'll find two more. I mean, Shinto, look, he only gets out of that because he's Giannis. Any other mage dies four times in that fight. <laughs> there were so many moments where he walks away. Thank Three God it's over. <laughs> in their favor. And that's a free fire giant if I've ever what seen. The Valkyries, they find themselves firmly in control. And these fights have just been elongated, haven't they? That's why I was curious what the sustain might look like. Half HP though on the mid lane Phoenix is this. The last bastion of hope. Finally, Shinto goes down and it's a world weaver from Zeros that gets it done. Panatom within an inch of his life. Back into the fountain he goes. Julio will back away here as well. And it looks like the Leviathans are going to have four on the Titan defense. Oh, they're going to have to be careful to keep it as four. <laughs> Julio takes a lot of oh, damage. No. It looks like they're going to be able to bounce the Valkyries back. In fact, they might go in here. Rongyu jumps right back in and he's found Zeros. They but pop hey, shielding feels good for Zeros now in this fight. The Leviathan balancing on a knife edge here. Five versus four. Johnny Ducky both have their ultimates. Panatom blinked in. Found Emilito in the back line and now Julio will continue the onslaught. Shinto still 30 seconds away and the Valhalla Valkyries 25% away from getting it done here in game one. The Leviathans fighting tooth and nail as Yarkor finds the first. Yarkor finds the second but the Valkyries take game one. I mean that is clean. Well not, I don't know if clean's the right term right? The last couple of fights clean from them, the way they played those. I think he's pretty good. I think that you can still make him Some work. Some spice, Some at least. Spice something, is good. something new. Pretty cool to see. Right, but uh, you picked it into his worst matchup in the entire game. Fenrir eats Hebo alive every time. I I'm surprised. Well, hey, casters, do your thing. The Valhalla Valkyries gave themselves a chance after a game one win. Now it's the Leviathan's turn to bounce back. Yarkor will be piloting the Chiron this game. Wrong you! Over on that Fenrir. Yeah, I mean, it's so open-ended, right? I mean, admittedly, should have an earlier hit than what we saw out of Al Kuang, right? He should be able to jump online a little bit faster, a little Whoa. bit sooner. It's actually now alts are going to be flying towards Emelita. Brutalize will tick down a little bit of oh, damage. No, wrong that's you? two ultimates that get used over here what? in the duo lane. And Johnny making his first rotation, but Panatom in there to mirror it as well. Drop kick against the wall. Johnny down to half HP. This is what we were concerned about. We knew Johnny wasn't oh, going to no. be able to do anything here in the early game, and the crushing wave finds some damage, but it's the Leviathans who collapse in on the Evo and find first blood. Yeah, not how you want but that. It's still one. something that skews more late game. Mm -hmm. I mean, his power curve starts a little earlier, but ultimately you're still looking towards that level 20, 20 minute, 25 minute range. Zeros. Ragnarok will use the beads up into the sky. He goes as Emilito rotates over from the duo lane. Tycho drums from Shinto just to slow down the engagement. Into the wall goes Zeros as well. Has he saved his own life? Johnny, what's happening on the back line here is Panatom has found some damage and Shinto finds the first kill, but it's a knockback, a pluck from Raffer, and Emilito finds a return kill. Right now, I'm starting to channel anything and everything Raffer, I, I would can say this duo lane, lane, at least even to, to right now, is looking better than they've had all year. Feeling like they're putting a little more weight onto this set. And rightly so. I mean, if they win this game, granted, they're still relying a little bit on the Titans tomorrow. Yep. But they are putting themselves in a much better position to get to the playoffs than anything else could have that could happen. So they need this Ooh. win. Buck on the Panatom, setting up for some damage from Emilito here. But there are more Leviathans immediately than there are the Valkyries. Johnny rotates on in, level 8. You want to see big cleave damage from a crushing wave if you can find it. Zero is pulled back into the fight by Rongyu as Emilito sends damage up and over the wall and Yarkor finds the execute. Tycho Drums could find some value here. Johnny Waterhands finds the first. Oh no, that would have been huge! And the crushing wave doesn't find the second kill, but Yarkor still low, down. still in danger. And Johnny will maybe turn one around on the back end there as Yarkor ends up going down. Raffer. Still low here in the mid lane, searching for Shinto. I mean, if he gets a pluck right here, he <laughs> might be. Wave there towards the end. He goes right in between a couple of health members of the Leviathans. 
Worst I, feeling in the world. And I, I think he's maybe able to clean up some more damage here. Has to crushing wave away from Rocky. What did Agro say? That Fenrir gobbles up Hebo and uh, yeah. yeah, does it again here. Crushing wave away, no beads available. And Johnny will go down for the fourth time this game. Four out of six kills that the Leviathans have. This is one of those things that it's such a good hybrid item, but there's not many instances where you're going to see it. Like, it does exactly what you need it to. Kind of one of those items may be designed for solo lane. Wrong you opens things up with his ultimate here, but enough damage on the back end, and that's crushing wave from Johnny. But hasn't found the execute here, and wrong you has somehow been able to stay alive. It's Raffer alone, and it's Panatom alone with zeros over in the back. Emilito disapparates away. But how many times have we seen this? The Regen running down yep. one on the Valkyries, and now the Leviathan's starting to pull way, way ahead. That should have to be find a way period. to delete Shinto from these fights, because this Raijin has just been able to free cast. So has Yarkor as well. Both of the carries so important to look at. If you're the Valhalla Valkyries, Johnny gets gobbled up but uses the beads to stay alive. Raffer no good on the pluck back as Panatom leaps in as well. The Valhalla Valkyries, they fought and lost here a moment ago, and they hope that this one turns out a little bit different. It's a knock-up onto Panatom, and Panatom has been left alone, and the rest of the Leviathans not on the same page. I mean, that is a that's a good kill for them to be able to pick up. That's going to be able to get you a nice oh, no. little bit of a oh, lead. No. Emilito needs to stay alive here, though. I don't, don't know if you'd get out of there. He will not. That's wrong. He canceled it early. <laughs> I mean, there was just no chance it felt like for Emilito. And, and what a difference, not only in the impact in the early game from all of the Leviathans, ah. but by this point it felt like Emilito was way on his way to a massive soul game. Yeah, I, guy, I, guess. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what 404 <laughs> area code makes me, but Johnny is here. Been spotted out by Julio and Panatom. Goodbye. You have to feel like here for Evo. Is there any damage on the back end of that? I'm not so sure. Uh, Shinto will find his fourth kill of the game. Just needs one assist for uh, for web dev or area code to find their mark. Now Emilito brutalized down as some snipes from Yarkor find their way over. Looks like maybe feeling comfortable, but the beads have to get used. And Emilito not enough not to really oh, write home about. Now oh, no. they can just put their pressure wherever oh, they want. No. Oh no, Ducky, we're feeling bad for the King Arthur here. Unless the King Arthur can make a big play, he'll try to weave away. We'll use the dash to get back underneath the tower here, but Rongyu uses his ultimate. Ultimate out from Panatom as well. It looks like Ducky ultimately will fall. Took a little while to and work down ults. that damage and sent three members of the Leviathans and to the right side of the map. over in mid lane. So I guess Julio posed the least amount of threat there. That is so interesting, Gore. I, I, we'll have to see if this Zegas finds some value for Johnny. Felt like this Hebo's just been having trouble finding the backline consistently. I think Johnny will use Good Agus. the crushing wave, but smart to not use the Aegis for Johnny there, but Shinto will keep himself alive, prevent any sort of healing or anything from coming through from Johnny. But it, it, it's an interesting pickup. I mean, there's obviously value in keeping yourself alive. We've discussed whether or not that's the best path on the desk, but if you're having trouble finding the back line, granted this game has gotten a bit out of control, so you have yeah. to take that into account as well. Would you have rather seen a blink? Level 17. So th this is the best chance that a fire giant the Leviathans will have. The Valhalla Valkyries want nothing to do with it. Outside of maybe a steal from Raffer here, who's done a good bit of damage over to Yarkor. But Yarkor turning it back tenfold. And he'll run down Raffer, and Yarkor will find another kill. Now the steal potential is zero. But look at this from the Leviathans. It's a similar call from what we saw the other day. The fire giant will get secured here by the Leviathans, but looks like maybe a Phoenix in the mid lane. No, but Johnny rolls through and tickles Panatom with a little bit of damage from the crushing wave. Panatom up down and Zeros flies on in and mid lane Phoenix secured for the Valkyries. That's a really big pickup. Again, if you're losing fire giant, now there's fire minions that are going to help alleviate some of that pressure. Johnny, though, is not going to escape that one. They do manage to get out alive. Yeah, Ryzen has been glory. playing Yarkor as well at 5-1-4 yeah. now. Has the tank buster build, so if Ducky or Raffer find their way into the back, they're just going to die so quickly. We'll have to see how this duel goes, because jungler versus jungler is so important, and Johnny just has not done any damage to Panatom, it feels like, with these crushing waves, and it's going to be a bit of a rundown there on the right-hand side, as Yarkor will use the ultimate here as well. Ducky melted on through by Shinto, and Yarkor, who 2v1 the frontliner and the backline, and the Valhalla Valkyrie starting to melt one by one. Yeah, this is looking like it's all going to crumble apart. They had their chance, but it was very slim. <laughs> this has just been well played from the Leviathan since minute one. And it looks like this is going to go to a game three here, Gormizer. F's surrender votes have started, but they won't roll through and they won't have the time to as the Leviathans working onto the Titan. Zeros could maybe find some damage on the back end here. Leviathans having to juggle aggro a little bit more than maybe they had thought, but ultimately the Titan will fall in under 25 minutes. 
Yeah, I tried to keep the optimism up there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was trying to think about what all the Valkyries could do, how many scenarios they might have that really could open up the game for them. And it got slim pig. The either, and so nope. that that counter effect here for the Leviathans could make this a relatively risky draft for Valkyries. Yeah, I think so too. The Valks have really just got to hope that the Leviathans. Casters, let's get us into the game three action. It's do or die now for the Valhalla Valkyries. The Leviathans will stamp their way into the Phase One playoffs. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Depending on the way that this one goes, the Leviathan. Oh, no, no, still Leviathan. feels pretty good to me. I don't know. Your blinks. And maybe not there for audio. You don't necessarily need it. You have good ranged engage already, so not the end of the world. Your frenzies, better late game. You know, maybe a heavenly. I don't know if there's enough slows that you really want it. I think this is going to be able to slow down the Leviathan's duo lane, that Chiron Finrear a little bit. Oh no, Johnny is low here in the mid. Dodges out a lot of the damage on the back end. And actually, Shinto has to use his beads there. So maybe it's a worthwhile trade for the Valkyries. Johnny, one auto away, and he's got it. Pentaton down for first blood. Good damage early on, good lockdown from Johnny, and the absolute opposite of what happened last game when he got first blooded. There's a lot more of a chance here. Even in the mid to late stages there. of this game. Are you on board with aggro, or are you doing your own thing and shaping your own, uh, I guess, play style? I personally tend to lean towards whatever aggro says, because it's always <laughs> guided me in the right direction. Don't we all? Fighting happening in the mid, though. Another chance for the mid lane to strike in zeros has hit Pater for the first time. This game of Raffers alone beneath the tier one tower, and that's going to be a return kill for the Leviathans. That would have been crystal clear and clean for the Valhalla Valkyries. Maybe a bit of an overstay there from Raffers, and now Zero's under some pressure. Is Wrong You jumps back in, or is Wrong You overstayed Johnny underneath the Tier 1 tower now, and Shinto has gotten two. That is a head scratcher there, Gore, for the Valhalla Valkyries. They got a free pick and then handed back two. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we have a, we had mentioned it the other day. I think maybe even able to get a third kill here. Maybe not. Please Dunkway no. is relatively tanky, but that one. That one feels like a little bit of a throw. I don't think you dive the tower there. I think oh, you fall man. back. Now they're going to get a third. Oh, man. Better not go. Oh, no, but Zeros turns one oh, around. Done. And Shinto dies as Zeros picks Apollo's up coming a kill. Over. Here's a rotation coming in from the duo lane here. It's wrong, you Dovan by Emelino. Zeros survives. It was a bait all along in the Leviathans. They fall by the wayside. Panatom tries to drop kick on the back, but Ducky's rotated in, and Ducky's gotten the kill. I thought I was scratching my head, but the Leviathans get it turned around now. High octane game tower. They take a little bit too much damage. It happens. And you know what? Benefit of the doubt, it won't happen again. Or maybe it will. Who cares? They do turn that around. Good rotations from Whoa. the side lanes. Maybe even a third kill here. Johnny, look, this is the time. If you're going to dive Whoa. at tier one, this is the time to do it. We go on, and Johnny finds the fifth kill of the game for the Valhalla Valkyries. The, the, the Valkyries do that at the perfect time, right? Because we're about to go in on why we're diving Tier 1 towers for no potentially yeah. good Jung Kui game that we've maybe had so far here in Season It'd be eight. very fitting. I think Xerus was the first person to play Tiamat. Lost with Tiamat, but it'd be very fitting if he was the first one to win with Jung Kui, although that's going to need to change pretty quickly right here. Pulled back in, and it's the Tycho drums whittling down the damage. damage. Zero's alone here. It's a double stun on the back end, and the last bit of damage from Panatom is there. But Johnny... Maybe feeling like he could get some more damage in, did not have the ultimate. And so that is where the Jean Kui can fall by the wayside. Nemesis I mean, pick seeming to agree. And a little ability based for Johnny now with his first item. Picks up that crusher. Raffer has to leap away, but Wrong Yu will have none of it. He's pulled Raffer right back into the fight here. Tycho drums from the back line. Do not do enough damage, but Yarkor on the rotation in will. And now it's Johnny left alone in the collapse. Just way too swift for the Leviathans, and they can pick up the scraps. I'm getting shades of game two from that fight, but Zeros, well, looking like he wanted to turn something around. Not going to be able to get enough done on his own. Needs a little more setup, maybe some more slows to lock them in. That's where that cripple field, that's where those slows from Johnny and Raffer will come in handy. If the three of them can get in a point together, it's really going to be able to drive things home, but they have to be careful. <laughs> so that is just ridiculous. He helped them pick up, up faster. <laughs> he helped him pick up the red buff a little bit faster. Emelino is up. Okay, no, yeah, no way he goes in there. I would hope not. Part of me hoped he did. Really able to set up and find people and kind of help eliminate them. That's where the Valkyries will lose this one. But 
They've showcased what they can do. They showcased the turnaround potential. Yeah. I just want to see that. Zeros gets jumped on yet again by Rangi here, and that one burns the beads off. Thunder crash in from Shinto, and it's answered back by the Tycho drums, and the damage is huge from the Valkyries. And down goes Shinto first, but Johnny and Zeros fall in tow, and the Leviathans collapse back into the mid lane as well. Rangyu limping away from the fight as Rappers rotated in from the left-hand side, but the Ardeo might be next on the menu for the Leviathans if they have it their way. The Tier 1 Tower Dive, no good. Two for one trade, Leviathans. Ah, but now the Tier 1 no good over here in left. Emilito, I guess, is just playing whatever he can, which is split push no, at this squad. point. And that's something that came to the forefront. Apollo fell by the wayside for a little bit there, but still true in where all of his utility stands. Zeros does not have beads this time, and it is yet another three-man collapse into Oof. the mid lane. How, Gore, this, this has been on cooldown. I think all three of Zero's deaths have been effectively the same as what we just saw. Rongyu yeah. jumps in, and then Panatom and Shinto are there for the damage. I mean, it's a simple logic tree, right? Are Zero's beads down? If yes, yes. then that's going to be the yes. exact play we see executed. If no, he might be able to turn it around, but we also might just see the exact same play. Yeah, I don't you, care about the circumference of If you had finished that sentiment, uh, we would be in a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> now it's Raffer getting aggressive onto Shinto. Finally! It's the Raijin who has to play defensively. The Tycho drums get used here. Rapper will eat up that damage pretty handily, but a drop kick back against the wall will send the Ardeo into an awkward spot, but Rapper survives on for the time being. But Julio rotates in, stunned from Rapper on the back end, and look at what Ducky's doing over in the back line. Both frontliners have gotten themselves a kill, likely to be one on Yarkor on the oh back no. end, but Yarkor got a kill on his ultimate as well. Ducky with the double kill, looking for three on the back end. It's a killing spree for the King Arthur. And it's looking like it's going to be one Get the quad more. Get the quad oh, it. It. There it is. Baby. And look, Julio's still alive. If Johnny and Ducky can pair up and play raid boss with the lowest health bars imaginable, he, he maybe there's up with a the quad there in that team fight, and so the Valhalla Valkyries out of the solo lane feeling a little bit more comfortable. Wrong you will do the tried and true, pull, pull zeros right back in. And this Jean Kui is just, I don't know, man. You, you just can't farm, I guess. You can't step up yeah. in this lane at all. And you know what? I don't know that Zero, like, obviously Zeros would love if it wasn't happening, but it's not the end of the world for him. Like, he's 2-5, and five, but it, it's Jean Kui, right? Yeah, he's still tanking. 0 and 2 Yarkor has some time to farm up. Likely gets the Tier 1 tower over on the left, but the response from the Valkyries is to start up the Pyromancer. Leviathan's close by. Three-man knockup from Julio on the back line. Pyromancer taken down by the Leviathans after the Valkyries had started it up. This is a big-time fight. It looks like Raffer's been left to die. I mean, he has that meditation. We'll see if that can get him out of there, but it's not enough health this time around. And now Zeros, hey, guess what? He's in a bad spot. And Zeros is quite low here, and he's going to get pulled back into the fray, and Shinto grabs the kill. Can Ducky do it again? Can he clean up some damage here onto the Leviathans instead? who will just cleave some out and try to spin away, but it's a stun from Rongyu to keep the King Arthur in place. The dash is in, and Johnny... Has to slow over the wall if need be. Instead, Johnny blinks back through. The Double duo. stun is there. Oh, Emelito rejoins the fight. The Valkyries have extended it. And one more kill for the Valks on the wrong you. Oh, but Emelito might have just run back into his death. On cooldown, decided to hand deliver one. But helped get another kill in the process. Helped uh, bolster up trouble. Ducky's stats. Dead a lot quicker. Uh, zeros, dead faster. Raffer, dead faster just thanks to this. And speaking of which, Whoa. Johnny... In a Whoa. dangerous scenario. Yeah, Johnny thought he had a, a fair fight here, but it's anything but as the Leviathan send a few on over. Damage gets sidestepped, but the Nemesis will go down nonetheless as Panatom is on a killing spree. Emelito will make it up to the sky. The Apollo rocking his way <laughs> on back to base here as he, uh, he laughs up in the sky. And the Valkyries duo laner will survive. And this is just a... a well, simplistic survival, I guess. As far away as he through. possibly yes. can. <laughs> far from everyone he can see so he can How oh, What can they do? What can they do? If I'm the Valkyries, I'm looking at anywhere on the map. If I'm the and Leviathans, I see a free fire shine. And Emil doesn't have his ultimate to get into this fight quicker. Zeros has blink, has ultimate. Half HP on the FG. This could seal the game if the Leviathans were able to secure it. It could bring the game back for the Valkyries if it goes the other way. Zeros gobbled up by Rongi, but the damage... It's not immediate here, and Zeros has some uptime in this fight, but the jump back in from Panatom, the 3v1, is way too much. And the Valkyries mid lane are down for the seventh time this game. I mean, it's just unfortunate. Like, how do you get out of here? And uh, Look, all the options I could see are not Bijan Quay. This is just going to be <laughs> having it on cooldown anytime they get the opportunity. But the Fire Giant Steel, still a potential. Ducky, Rapper, Rapper so Johnny, low. all around here. Rapper just dies to Yarkor here, and the Fire Giant 
Kind of pulled off now as Rong Yu is low. Johnny searching, poking and prodding, hoping to find himself a pick here, but the fire giant has been reset. And look, maybe that's the best that the really Valkyries stress. Rong Yu will stick to you like glue. I mean, forget trying to get to Shinto and Heart Yarko right now. Just getting past the front line's impossible. Jump in, Ragnarok out. Rapper will have to dash away here as the Leviathan surge forward is five. Does not look like the RDO is long for this world as Panatom on a rampage now. And that is the probably 13th time we've seen that combo of Rong Yu just sitting Rong somewhere in the in, or Julio or Panatom, whichever one decides to engage. It just seems to scream like a loss for the Valkyries. That's Oboe picked up now for Yarkor as he sold the starter item off of that Chiron. I was going to say, it feels like Ducky against the world for a little bit lately here. And look at this, a good maybe fight for the Valkyrie. Zeros has found all this cleave damage, but he has just not done enough. Emilito dunks down into the back line as Panatom does battle with the Valkyries duo laner. And Emilito finds the kill onto Shinto, a great target. But the health bars are low, but it's Ducky yet again. 702 on the King Arthur, but the Valkyries fall around him. I mean, he is a single, well, not single handedly. Valkyries He's been given to work a lot through. Of the Leviathans reset the Fire Giant. Emilito's going to open up the Phoenix on the left hand I side. I wonder what the call is harder. here. Does he stay and look towards this Phoenix? The answer is yes, and the yeah. Leviathans have pulled off of the Fire Giant. This could be a great opportunity for the Valhalla Valkyries as back to base goes Panatom. Over on the left-hand side, Emilito somewhat low in that fight, but there's still a team fight oh, happening in no, left. Emilito will not complete the left side Phoenix. And that would have been massive for the Valkyries, but it will not be. Zero finds a double stun here as Rong Yu and Huya work on in, but there's enough damage from the Valkyries to stay alive. Rong Yu jumps into the back line, doesn't find the stun that he's looking for, but there's not enough damage to get the Fenrir. They're not able to get that oh, kill, man. and unfortunately they lose their carry. 7-1 and 2 now for Ducky. I mean, he's been the one that's keeping things alive. Immel, if he had gotten that Phoenix, at least it makes it worthwhile. But now, Dave, I think they just lose the Fire Giants. Yeah, it does seem that way now. The Leviathan's in a great position there. Full five stack, zeros. Johnny and Raff are the only three left alive for the Valkyries. And nobody will be in range to try to grab this steal. So now the Leviathan's just shy of 30 minutes in. Unless they delay for 26 seconds. Right? Are they would, going would, to? Would transform into enhance at 1% HP for them to grab? I, yeah. I guess it could. All that matters is, is the health bar up at 30 minutes? That's why they're doing their little dance right now. I've never seen it happen in, in real this time. Long? So this, this is going to be an interesting one. This Leviathan's team has Look, done this Look, this is a pack. better chance. Look at Raffer. Get they, in there. The Valkyries Pitch have yourself. to know that this is going on, right? There's nine seconds left. And the, ah. the Leviathans decide the time is now, and maybe they were just baiting the Valkyries in. Rapper thought he had a chance to steal it away. And the Atlantis Leviathans... Hey, that might it. slow him down. Well, if they didn't have minions here around the right-hand Phoenix. They do have minions, though. So that's going to go down. They've got Raffer gone. Four people left to try and burn through. Two of them are in mid. This looks like it could be the end. Rongyu has 21 assists, by the way. And the Atlantis Leviathans knocking on the door of the Phase 1 playoffs. The Valhalla Valkyries sunsetting, as our friend Mifflin would say, or maybe not say. The Atlantis Leviathans will punch their ticket in 31 minutes. I mean, for what started, or at least how to turn around with what could arguably be called a pentakill for Ducky because he had to kill Yarkor.